going to be tying a cat scale style March Brown. I'm going to start my thread at the eye of the hook and the thread that I'm using is it's Uni AO in black. The hook I'm using is a Camazan B440 size 12. Now I'll take the thread down till when I let go of the bobbin sits in line with the barb. Just remove the waist piece. <coughs> now for the tail I'm using a red game, a red game, a eh, sad a eh, hackle, sorry. Take one off from the top. Pull the fibres 90 degrees from the stem, then just rip them off. And the measure that you're looking is from the eye to the bend of the hook. Set that on top, single turn, and then come under, come back on top. What that does is it just spreads the fibres, like that. Now I'm just going to run my thread back up, I'm going to cut the ends about, oh, about a third of the way up. Of the body like that. Now just run your thread up, tie and then down. And I'm going to come right up till I'm about an eye's width away yeah, from the actual eye itself. Now I've got a mallard feather here. You can use teal or wood duck, anything that looks remotely like this. This is going to be for the wing. Now all I'm going to do is just remove the fluff the bottom, just pull that back. Just like that. Then I'm going to come in with my scissors and remove the tip. Like that. Okay. Now I've just got a wee bit too much on here. Just going to take some off at the back. Alright, now that's what it looks like. What I'm going to tie it in, or how I'm going to tie it in, is you can see it's got a natural curve. I want that to be curving into the hook. I just want to take a loose turn or two on the shank. Now, try to keep it on top with these up eyed hooks. It will want to go off to the side. Just keep it on top and then just hold both ends and just pull that. Pull it right in. So you get the length that you want. Have a wee look. A bit more. And then don't tighten up these two turns. Just start to wind back and gradually get tighter. If you tighten up the first two turns, they'll start to that'll twist around the hook shank. And if you can see on top there, without me doing anything, you can see the split. If you tighten them up, you'd lose that split. Now I want to come in with my scissors and at an angle. Cut, cut the ends. This will help to encourage a taper in the body. At this point, just make sure everything's sitting the way you want it. Come in for a turn behind. Now the body, I'm going to use just a stripped peacock quill. You can use a rubber to get the hair off. But all I've done, I'll show you here. And that is the whole peacock eye. And I've just dunked that in a nice tub of bleach for a couple of seconds. Just hold the end with a pair of pliers, forceps, whatever. And just keep moving the feather around. And eventually you'll see all the hair coming off. If you leave it in too long that you can damage it. There's actually a member on YouTube that showed me that uh, and I'd like to thank him for that. Now when you take it off you see these fine bit of skin at the end. That's what I'm going to use to tie or to catch it in. A couple of turns onto that 
it's very flexible that's what it is and just run your thread up stopping about three quarters of the way up the body now just take your time and just get some super glue just on top all the way around a nice fine coat just take your time Nice even coat. There you go. Just leave that like that for a couple of seconds. It'll dry quicker under this another studio light here. At this point, you can just select your uh, the hackle you're going to use. In this case, it's a furnace hackle. This is a Mets. It's a grade two. A uh, hen hackles. A lot of colour in it. Well, you can see half the feather there is black, and the other, the tip, it's got the colour on it. So, I'm gonna tie it in, obviously close to the tip. Now I don't tie it in. I'll leave a tiny wee bit of black at the back. Just gonna add a wee bit of emphasis to the colour. Just remove the fluff like that. Touch your side, that's that dry. Now these, there, you see there's a natural curve in the hackle, in the top side here, that's the good side, that's the shiny side, or the, the side that you see, it's this side. You want to tie that against the hook, see the good side against the hook. Come down, tying that right down. Now at this point, I'm just gonna split in, post the wing up. And all I do here, try and turn it around so you can see it. Just come in, pull the wing back, cross over the turns like that. See if it's sitting all right. A few wee fibres went away there. Again, just come across. Everything back, cross again. Just come across like that. And now you want your wing to be here. Yeah. Flaring, flaring straight out like that. Now I'm just going to post this up, come in with your thread, build up a good couple of turns in front, and let go, and that'll stick your wing up like that. Now just take your thread to the front, a couple more turns in there, bring your thread to the front, and just start to wind on your hackle. Three or so turns at the back, quite close to the end here, so I'm just going to come in with some hackle pliers on. And then just finish off the rest of the feather at the eye. Come across it, with your thread, always come across twice. Keep it nice and tight, release the feather the tip. Now come in and stroke everything It's going f uh, back forwards, sorry, just stroke it backwards. Come into the front. Build up a neat head. Like that. And just put a wee bit of varnish onto a thread. Watch you don't touch the hackle at this point. You just come in and let it finish. Four's plenty. Pull your thread nice and tight. Come in with your scissors. Trim that away. 
now because there is a lot of a lot of things going on at the head I'm going to use just my dubbing needle put some super glue on your dubbing needle it's a lot easier than using a brush this way you can get right in I'm just going to put the some varnish onto the head a bit more Take your time. There you go. Now just break off the tip. Stroke the fibres forward. Let you see what it's like. And that is Miss Cat School Style March Brown. <laughs> 